And happy Sunday morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Ask Best video column show here on Facebook every Saturday and Sunday at noon Eastern Time. What this is, is it's a place where people can come and ask any questions about network marketing, about career, jobs, health, weight loss, relationships, or even spiritual issues or spiritual fulfillment. Hello, Shamala. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Uh, Shmala is a dear friend and also a student in our school and just an awesome lady to follow. Beautiful, beautiful heart um, opening lady. And hello, Karen. How are you? Karen's another coach friend of mine. Um, glad to see you here. So the Ask Best video column, I got this idea from Ann Landers, if you guys remember that, uh, where people could write in questions and she would respond to them. Because she said it mattered her, her success over like 50 years or something like that, 47 years, something like that. She said her, she believed the success of that column was because people wanted to be heard. And that that was important. So my message to you is you matter. I hear you. I'll respond to you. There's a solution to every problem. It may not be as, as far away as you think. You're bigger than any problem before you. You can become a master problem solver. And I'll help. I'll teach in, in this class, and when, when we cover the topic today, I'll teach our four-step, real simple, real conversations method to move from problem to solution real fast in minutes that I've been using for over 30 years to help hundreds and hundreds of people have breakthroughs that, where, where they're stuck. So um, I should tell you just a minute who am I, in just a minute who am I, Bess McCarty, <laughs> coach for business and life. I help all those things I just mentioned. Um, for over 30 years, holistic health practitioner, body-mind therapist, students, clients, um, private coaching, class coaching, uh, helping people to have better lives. So I have to do my own work or it doesn't work. <laughs> a therapist, a coach can only lead somebody as far as they have gone themselves. So that, that is what my original body-mind teacher drilled into me, you must do this work yourself. So that's, that's been pretty much my life, personal and spiritual growth. So today I wanted to cover a topic with, about sugar, eating sugar, since this is so rampant, so so many people face illnesses and 50% uh, or so of people are overweight, and a lot of people have um, wish they could kick their, their addiction to sugar. Now what I, what I brought today was two guests to role play this with me because I've been using puppets a bit in my work. So I'd like to introduce you to my two guests. This is Mr. Giraffe and this is Mr. Jackal. I got these puppets from the Compassionate Communication Organization headed by Marshall Rosenberg who teaches us to speak in observations, feelings, needs, and requests rather than blames, judgment, demands, things that don't work in our, in our communication. The reason he chose Mr. Giraffe was because the giraffe represents the higher part of ourself. The giraffe is, the tall, um, is known for his tall view, his tall neck, and so that would be like his overview or the wisdom, his far-reaching vision. And the giraffe also has the largest an heart of any land animal. <clears throat> this is true. So <laughs> this is what the giraffe represents. You could say the highest part of ourselves. <clears throat> now the jackal represents our childlike self and sometimes childish self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wants what it wants right now. It wants immediate gratification. You bet, baby. And um, it... It might be the, the part that, that we, we could equate, <clears throat> yeah, I'm an inner child therapist too, so we might equate the jackal to the child for all its wonder and spontaneity, but also its immaturity. And the giraffe could be equated to the inner parent. So I'll just call this the child and the parent. <clears throat> or the, the, um, the part of ourselves that wants things like sugar, because it tastes good and all that. And this would be the parent giving the wisdom from their viewpoint over over time <clears throat> to help the little jackal, the little child, uh, with its wisdom and to grow up. So today the topic is sugar and I like to just do a little role playing for you. <clears throat> so the jackal, or I'll call the child, the child within us says to the parent, um, I don't 
know why you just can't give me sugar all the time. It tastes good. There's nothing wrong with it. And that's what I want. Well, child, tongue straightened out here. <laughs> well, my child, I appreciate that. I am glad for your, your spontaneity and your your love of life, your, 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 your taste for life and the good things and the good tastes in life. I love that about you. Um, I would like to, oh, help you to know the, 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 the good parts of sugar is how good it tastes on your tongue. But for white sugar and refined sugar, and people might, now I know that I'm your parent and I offer you healthy versions of this, you know, candy made with honey and all that, but sometimes you're out and around and people want to feed you donuts and candy and ice cream and all that stuff, right? Yeah, it tastes good. How come you don't give me that? Don't you love me? <laughs> well, actually, I do. <laughs> and that's why we're having this talk. Did you know that sugar, like this, um, can cause sickness down the road for many people? A lot of people who eat this have diabetes, or um, teeth that are, are have a lot of cavities in them. <clears throat> Did you know that sugar can hurt you? No, how can something taste so good hurt me? <clears throat> That's kind of the trick. <laughs> That's kind of the trap of sugar. Um, it, it tricks us into, into, into tasting good, and so we think that it, it has to be good. But actually, we, must, we, need, we need to be very careful of it and eat very little of it, or eat healthy versions of it. But I don't want to think healthy. If somebody's putting a donut in front of me or an ice cream cone, I'm not going to want to think about a healthy version or down the road or diabetes or any of that stuff. I just want to eat it. My mouth wants it in me right now. My tummy wants it in me right now. Mostly my mouth wants it in me. <laughs> yes, that is what we call immediate gratification. Lots and lots of us deal with that. Growing up means being able to see further down the road than just the moment and to choose what is best for us down the road. Now, um, you know some people, don't you, that don't have any teeth left? Yeah, what's up with that? They can't even chew caramel or anything like that. Poor people. I'm never going to be like that because I always like candy, so I'm not going to lose my teeth. Well, the way that some of these people lost their teeth is from eating too many sweets and not taking care of their teeth and brushing them. So, I'm your parent self. I have the long neck and the high view. can see down the road. I can see where I've come from. I can see where other people have come from. I'm here to help you to get a little bit of that down the road view so that if someone offers you some ice cream or candy, you think first before you just eat it. That doesn't sound like any fun. <laughs> it's not fun, but I think that your future self will help you. I think that your future self will thank you, and I'm here to help you to grow up a little bit and think a little down the road instead of immediately gratification. Immediate gratification means that you do just what feels good and right in the moment. Yeah, in fact, I see some candy right now. <laughs> This is candy corn. <laughs> there! I ate it all before you could even stop me. But oh, I have a belly ache. Oh. And I think I just got a cavity too. Okay, how do you feel? It felt good in my mouth. It felt good to my tongue. But my belly feels bad right now. Well, that's how we learn, isn't it? <laughs> and I would like to say hi to Mark Alexander uh, and any, any folks who popped on. If you're watching the replay, by the way, please type in replay, and I'd love to hear where you're from. Thank you for joining us. This is a lesson today about sugar on the Ask Best video column show. <laughs> okay, so... Um, little jackal, child self, what did you just learn? That I got a belly ache. <laughs> and I don't like the belly ache. <laughs> How did you get it? 
eating too much sugar, gobbling it all up because I wanted to eat it faster and you could take it away from me. Did that work out for you? <laughs> Dr. Hill says, how did that how did that work out for you? <laughs> Not so good. <laughs> Are you gonna do anything different next time? Yeah, maybe eat less, eat slower, or or maybe eat an apple? Would that give you a bellyache? Not unless you eat a bushel. <laughs> but yeah, I think your body's going to feel better if you eat the apple. You know what? I even got you some trail mix that has raisins and nuts and good stuff in it too. You want to give that a try? Yeah, when I feel better I'll give that a try. Maybe I'll even like it. And it won't make you sick like that. It won't, it won't um, have the same effect on you. Hello, Megan. Welcome. Welcome, Megan. <laughs> so, what we can do to feel better, little Jekyll, is we can make healthy choices. Like when you're out in a restaurant, you can look at the menu and say, well, there's a fruit cup I could have for dessert instead of ice cream. Or if I'm at a fast food restaurant, maybe I'll choose the salad, the chicken salad, instead of the cheeseburger and fries, which has all the, the fried food. There are three simple rules that could help you to feel better. Avoid white flour, white sugar, and fried foods, like french fries and chips. And the white sugar, and the white, the white flour, of course, you know, is in pizza and donuts and sandwiches and all that, but maybe you could get a whole wheat version, or just skip the wheat. A lot of people are doing that. You heard of keto and all that. That doesn't sound like any fun. But it can be really, really tasty. <laughs> I'll get a, I'll make us some recipes and we'll try them out and we'll see which ones are your favorite. So, you know what? I used to be addicted to sugar too. And what I did is I started getting recipes where I could replace sugar with honey and it tasted just as good. One time I went to this party and there was this incredible cheesecake there and I just kept eating it and eating it, you know, and I thought, wait a minute, I bet I can make a healthy version of this cheesecake with honey and I use raw cheese and melt it, I don't even cook it, and I use nuts instead of the, 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 um, the crust, for the crust, nuts and, and honey and all that, and it tasted just as good as the bad cheesecake. <laughs> so I don't necessarily want you to give up flavor, I just want to switch out the ingredients, and I'll help you with that, and I'll make some of those with you. How does that sound? Well, yeah, if it tastes as good, then, then I could get on board with that, because because I don't want diabetes and rotten teeth. Okay, that's the deal. We'll work together and I'll help you on that. So, um, I just want to to let our... Um, I've got a few notes here I'm going to be sure to share with you. I um, wanted to let our viewers know a few more tips about using the Real Conversations process and applying that to, to, to foods. The Real Conversations process or I'll put the puppets down for a minute. The Real Conversations process is a four-step method. There we go. Four-step method of go, moving from problem to solutions fast. And this works for addictions or anything like that, sugar or, or any, any kind of, any kind of um, compulsive thing that, that we might do. Okay, so four steps from problem to solution. Identify the problem, identify the need behind the feeling behind it, and identify the need behind it, and then solve that need in a healthy way. So one time, a lady came to me uh, for for coaching, and she said, "I am addicted to sugar." I said, "How long has this been going on?" She said, "Since my husband passed away, like a year or two ago. I forget how long she said it was." Um, and she said, "I guess I want sweetness in my life again." So she was reaching for it that way, but it was causing health problems for her, a little bit elderly lady, but she recognized, you know, she didn't do that before, now she was doing that. Okay, so um, problem, um, eating too much sugar and health problems. Uh, the feeling behind that might have been loneliness. And the need, as she identified herself, was comfort or sweetness in her life. So what we figured was how she could give that to herself in a healthy way instead of with sugar. And some ways that I have found for, for myself that will meet that need is um, taking nice, long, relaxing aromatherapy baths with candles, you know, to provide that, that comfort, um, to provide that love. It's a way of saying, I love you to myself. 
Um, another way is getting massages. I just happen to love massage. Um, um, my main touch language is love. So that works for me. Figure what your love language is. I believe if I have them right, there's touch, quality time, acknowledgement, gifts, and service, if I have those right. So you can see which one means the most to you and see how you can give those to yourself. Can you buy some flowers for yourself today? Can you take yourself out for some fun and begin to give that comfort? Of course, if, if, if you lose a loved one, it's very good to spend plenty of time for the first months especially around friends and family to fill up that place, to make sure you're in contact with um, loved ones. And maybe some people it works with pets. But give yourself that love connection that you're missing. Help yourself to make that transition to other means of love in your life. So... Um, Welcome everybody who are who are listening today. <clears throat> Do you have a question, a takeaway, a comment, a tip about love, about um, overcoming sugar, a question about anything that you're going through in your life? This is a good time to ask it. Or if you wish it to be anonymous, just private message me here on Facebook like a lot of people do, and I bring those questions here and respond to this. But I also like to hear from you all, too. Let this be a potluck of good ideas and information that we can all share with each other. I do have one more tip about food and sugar. I found something called the Primal Diet about probably almost 30 years ago, and I have been on that ever since. It's a raw... Um, um, uh, raw diet, uh, like like a super raw keto diet, with raw dairies and meats and vegetable juices, and I can say that um, this is by Ajnas von der Plans. You can find this under We Want to Live website. However, this is kind of a, a rare and kind of an extreme diet. It's probably not for everybody. That maybe parts of it could work. I found that when I got on this diet, that I have no more cravings for all this time. I just don't, I don't crave anything. Sugar doesn't tempt me. It doesn't even look like food to me. Um, this doesn't even look like food. <laughs> um, because my cells are happy, I believe it gets the, um, the raw and organic fats, protein, and live enzymes and vitamins and minerals in the, in the juices that I drink, the green vegetable juices. And somehow, uh, very soon after that, at first I craved bread which I hardly ate, but um, first I, I craved bread and that craving went away. And there, there is, and that went away within the first, within the first year. Um, so for over 25 years, I had the blessing to not have any cravings. Um, I can be around any kind of food and it doesn't really tempt me because I think my cells are so happy and satisfied. That diet may not be for everyone, but I do know that when we satisfy when we have a sugar craving, it could be a protein uh, craving. And many times we are wanting, when we're wanting uh, fried foods, we're really wanting fat. Fat is real, real, real essential for a whole lot of things, including the brain, the nervous system is mostly made of fat. And that reaches and directs every single part and function of our body. So when we supply ourselves with a good source of fat, like raw <clears throat> vegetable oils, avocado, but I happen to love raw cream, butter, eggs, you know, the, the animal dairy products build the nervous system like the vegetables can't, the vegetable oils can't. So those are my, welcome Thomas, Thomas. those are my own personal tips for beating a sugar addiction. Now, let's see, I'll just cue you in again, the four steps to real conversations. Identify the problem, the feeling under it, the need under that, and meet that need in a healthy way, problem goes away. I did put these, I discovered this, gosh, almost 30 years ago, working with clients and students and myself, and I observed, hey, I think there's a four-step pattern when moving myself and my clients and students from problem to solution. They seem to keep going through these four same steps. Let me write them, let me observe and write them down. So I did. And the ones I just mentioned, I call it real conversations with ourselves, because when we get real with ourselves, then we can find the real need, and then we can find the real solution. Because a lot of times that need is hidden from us and our feelings are. When we're raised as kids, we're taught, you don't need that, you don't feel that, 
um, you know, you learn to be outer directed rather than inner directed. How many times does a parent ask a child, what are you feeling, what are you needing? Yet these are essential life skills to be able to solve any problem you're in front of. Because I found that every problem is a sign of an unmet need. So discover that need, meet that need, problem goes away. It could be physical, emotion, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. And every day when I come on here, every Saturday and Sunday at noon Eastern Time, I'll bring you stories or examples of exactly how this works in life. I'm writing books on it. And you can also get, I've also put a little package of free tools together for you called Real Conversations. Free tool package, including a chart that shows a four-step process and identifies our feelings, needs, because sometimes we don't know what they are. I've listed all the feelings and all the needs that humans have, including Abra you know, Abraham Maslow's um, list of needs. I've studied many people's hierarchy of needs and put this all together along, along with my own. It's the most complete list I've ever, ever seen of feelings and needs. So you can, you can use that and read that and see which jumps out at you. Identify, what am I feeling now? What am I needing now? Then you can meet that need in a healthy way. If you get stuck, um, call me. I do private coaching, but also I created a class for that, which I'll tell you in just a minute. First of all, the free tools it includes the chart and audio about how to work, walk yourself through that process, and then some emails that help you to journal yourself through that four-step process. Very, very valuable, um, worth hundreds of dollars, but they are free for you at the link that I'll put below. The link I'll tell you now too. BessMcCarty.com slash Real Conversations class. BessMcCarty, BessMcCarty.com slash Real Conversations class. I'll post the link, um, free tools, but also this tells about a class because some people want more assistance and help them to learn more beyond the free tools. So I created a Tuesday night class, 9 p.m. Eastern time, to accommodate all the time zones. By phone, not recorded, confidential, can be anonymous, where people can get on. We have, they can bring their worries, their frustrations, their questions for the group coaching right there. Or they can just hang on, you know, tune it, dial in and listen to other people. Can be anonymous if they want. Hello, welcome, Nadia. Good to see you. <laughs> So people come on, we, um, it's a 90 minute class, not recorded for confidentiality, we get a, a short lesson about real conversations, the four step method, then we dive into live coaching. So whoever has an issue, question that they want to be coached on, we do that. And then we open it up if they wish to the rest of the group so that they get the group's feedback as well, like a mastermind. So this is the, the Tuesday night class, the link is also on the same page that I mentioned. You're welcome to come. Like like to have you. Um, this is what Maria said who joined the last class. She said, I recently joined Bess McCarty's Real Conversations class. I've done a lot of programs, classes, coaching, and even therapy in my life. And yet, last night, I got a new understanding of the cause of my problem and what to do about it. I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised wowed even by the attention, insight, and skilled coaching Bess gives to each and every student. She is sparkly <laughs> and has a lot of depth. Thank you. <laughs> I'm absolutely certain that this investment will pay off in huge dividends. So thank you, Maria, for that feedback of the class. Uh, they are powerful. We do go deep. They do work. So we'd love to have you. I'll post the link below. Thank you very much for watching today. And if you know anyone who is stuck, frustrated, discouraged with life, feel like they're, they, they're faced a wall and they don't know the way through, I'd love if you let them know about this class. I bet they'll thank you to, just to know that there's an option for them and a way through and a self-help method that they can use. I use it several times a day to get through, to keep moving through life, to, to solve problems every day. Problems are here for us to grow, aren't they? They're to inspire our creativity and our capability. And um, so they're, they're not a bad thing. They're a gift. And this is how to navigate them. This is how to get better. So I'm glad to share that with you. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for sharing, um, tagging friends, sharing another Facebook group. All of that I really appreciate. And I love your comments just to know you're out there. 
Um, if you are here to create a better life for yourself and to help others, hopefully too, please type yes, because I'd like to thank you for that. If you're watching the replay, please type that in. I'd like to thank you for that. See you next Saturday and Sunday, noon Eastern time, for the Ask Best Show. Hi, Brian. I'm just signing off now. Thank you for being on, Brian, and another wonderful person to follow. Uh, super growth, super personal growth superhero. That's Brian. <laughs> Thank you all for joining, jumping on. Take care. Bye-bye. Noon Eastern Time, Saturday and Sunday. Facebook Live. Ask us. Thanks.